Assalamualaikum. Uh, আমি অরেজ কানন্তু অর্গানাইজিং সেক্রেটারি অ্যাগ্রিকালচারাল সোসাইটি অফ বাংলাদেশ আজকে আপনারা জানেন আমাদের সাথে জয়েন করবে ওয়ার্ল্ড ফেমাস একজন ব্রিডার জাজ অ্যান্ড অ্যাগ্রিকালচারিস্ট ফ্রেডরিচ ফ্রম জার্মানি তো সব আপনাদের সবাইকে আমি লাইফটা দেখার জন্য এবং শেয়ার করার জন্য ইনভাইট করতেছি যারা লাইফটা লাইফটা দেখতেছেন এবং শেয়ার করবেন তাদের তো বলবো আপনারা কমেন্ট করবেন এবং আপনাদের লাভ বার্ড রোজ রিং প্যারাকিট এবং ককাটেল নিয়ে বা কোনো লার্জ প্যারাট নিয়ে জানার কিছু থাকলে কমেন্ট করবেন আমরা অবশ্যই কমেন্ট গুলো পড়ার চেষ্টা করব এবং ইন দা মেন টাইম শুনবো ওনার এই বিশাল একষট্টি বছরের পাখিপালার হিস্ট্রিটা বা তার স্টাডি থেকে শুরু করে এই পর্যন্ত তার এই লম্বা জার্নিটা সম্পর্কে জানবো সো নাও আই উড রিকোয়েস্ট রিফায়ত ইন্তসা চৌধুরী আওয়ার Uh, technical moderator to bring Mr. Sekfred Fred Rich on the screen at our ASB Live international platform. Hello, good evening together. It's the good, evening. Uh, good evening. Hello. <laughs> Hello. How are you, sir? We are live now. Isn't it live? Yeah. Good now. We're still good. Also ich begrüße euch recht herzlich, äh, die Vogelzüchter und Vogelhalter in Bangladesch. Und ich hoffe, dass ihr trotz der Corona-Krise alle gesund und munter seid, Familien und Angehörigen gesund. Uh, my father said uh, he's breeding to all the breeders and the bird keepers from Bangladesch. And he hopes that uh, everybody and your families are fine and going well through the global pandemic. And he see a great opportunity in this time to help us together. And uh, to, he's improving to help your hobby and with his experience. So we have hopefully for a nice evening together. Yeah, sure. Thank you very much, sir. We are really grateful that you have attended our uh, ASB Live program. It, this is a huge honor for us uh, that someone like a legendary person like you has come to our life. Thank you very much, sir. Er ist sehr dankbar dafür, dass wir heute dabei sind und dass jemand wie du heute auch die Zeit sich nimmt, dazu zu lernen. Er ist wirklich dankbar. Er ist wirklich dankbar und er ist happy too. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Uh, now one of our online moderator and member, Sadia Zaman Raisa, will join with us to, have a, mm -hmm. to uh, give you a greetings. Okay. Uh, Rifat, please bring Sadia Zaman Raisa on the screen. Die Moderatorin kommt jetzt mit dazu. One second, please. Oh, I'm... Good evening. Good evening, Raisa, please. Okay. Hat click, break a man. Gigant re click, ut hat click for girl to do that. We learn and finish thing now for him in him. Vergeek me up and If I maha, we are foreign institute heaven. We all learn thus e yamaba un jand. Un un in shudia and glucoses liven. It's been Raisa, online moderator from Agricultural Society of Bangladesh. Vielen Dank. Wir sind auch sehr dankbar. Sie hat es eben gerade alles auf Deutsch gesagt. <lacht> Dankeschön. <lacht> Thank you very much. Thank you. She, she, uh, she tried to give you a greetings in German language. We heard it and it was really good. <lacht> That's why I'm laughing. That's okay. really was good. We, we uh, can't speak any Bangladesh. Thank you. So. <lacht> Thank no, no, you it's too. okay. It's okay. Thank you so much. Thank you, Raisa, for joining us. Okay. Uh, so she was our online moderator and a, a very active member and a very good breeder uh, who joined us. Uh, so, uh, 
Sir, we would like to uh, first, we would like to know your experience and the, the journey that you started in a very early age about birds. Mm -hmm. We would like, mm -hmm. we would like to listen that story. Also die Frage ist, wie bist du eigentlich zu Vögeln gekommen? Wann hast du angefangen und äh, wieso bist du Vogelzüchter? Ja, ich weiß äh, noch, von damals so, wo ich Kinderlähmung hatte, dass ich krank war, Kinderlähmung. Und dann hatte ich von einem Onkel, der Schuster war, in welchen Wellen sie dich geschenkt bekommen. Mhm. Und aus den Wellen sie dich kamen Junge, das wurden mehr mhm. und die konnte man sich nicht trennen von und dadurch wurde es immer mehr. So, uh, wie alt ungefähr warst du? Zehn Jahre. So, uh, my father started breeding when he was 10 years old and uh, in this time okay. he was ill, he was in a hospital and his uncle oh. gave him the first um, budgeries and there was a pair of budgies okay. and he started with 10 to breed and there was the first eggs and he was love in, inside the bird and see them coming out of the egg and then he started to start in the roof of the uh, my grandmother's house he started in the roof okay. to build the first farm and so he started to breed till he was 10 years old so it's a very long journey now um, how many how many birds do you have in your farm 62 years till then and uh, we feel yeah, around 400 was around 400 500 okay. birds actually now oh, wow that's that's a huge number Uh, around 400 uh, birds. So, so uh, sir, uh, we have many viewers all of, from all over the Bangladesh. He says he, he, he can't stop to give them away. He, when there's a bird, he's, it's, it's breed. If he don't like to give it away, he starts to fall in love in every bird. So that's a problem. <laughs> <laughs> right. As a bird lover, exactly. <clears throat> We have many viewers from all over the Bangladesh at the moment in our show, and also many international viewers from India, Pakistan, and uh, several other countries, also some part of Europe. Uh, uh, thank you for joining. Uh, really, this is a, a great pleasure for us. We will know your experience, and your, uh, we will have some advice from you about breeding parrots. Ähm, es ist dankbar dafür, dass wir heute dabei sind. Es sind momentan viele internationale Zuschauer dabei und er freut sich darüber, dass wir heute Fragen beantworten werden. Es ist ja auch ein okay. Hobby, wo man mit Menschen in Kontakte kommt, mhm. wenn bei Ausstellungen und so weiter oder Versammlungen. Um, my father said one of the most interesting parts of this Hobby for him is when he's starting to go to judgments and to shows into Europe, starting okay. to connect with different German breeders, and then he started to go to France and see other breeders. And um, this, when, you, when you are so old like my father, there was no possibility to learn so many different countries or language. He, he don't speak another language. And, yes, um, yes, yes, but yes, the, bird, the bird was something international because he's starting to have birds from every country. And he loves to, right. to go inside the countries to see other breeders with the same hobby. And that's what he was preferring. And so there are many friendships around the world. And so you're getting more information right. from other countries. And that's something what only right. birds give us than other hobbies. Right, right. Very true. And this is the reason we started this live program to connect the world in a, in a single platform. Darum wurde auch diese Idee gestartet, um das miteinander zu öffnen. Thank you for the idea. So that, uh, thank you. Uh, uh, so that uh, international bidder and celebrities like uh, your father uh, can join us and many people can learn from him and also some senior bidders and expert bidders like him. Okay. Uh. Okay, uh, at the moment, uh, I would like to tell everyone for uh, the, this message is for the viewers. Uh, please keep commenting and for the best comment and the best wish to Sir Sekfet Fredrich, we will have a gift from our ASB Live to the viewers as usual. For the best question, is there a gift? For the best question, is there a gift? Okay, so. Uh, I have some comments from our viewers. I would like to read some of them, okay? Mm -hmm. 
Sure. Es werden einige Fragen jetzt die gestellt wurden schon. I hope you try to answer the best. Okay, sure. We have some message and wishes. Okay. Uh, Uh, Ashi Kamim, one of our member, wrote, It's an honor for us, dear Sir Sekfet Frederich. Thanks for joining our ASB Live. Tanzil Tomal, one of our, our member, uh, wrote, We are delighted to have you among us on behalf of all the members and moderators and admin. We would like to extend our warmest welcome and good, good wishes to you. Von den meisten Kommentaren gerade dankbare Grüße erstmal von dir und danke, dass du dir die Zeit nimmst und das ist sehr ehrenvoll. Ja, an sich ist auch mal, was eben an unserem Hobby ein bisschen blöde ist, dass die Behörden hier in Europa uns viel Schwierigkeiten, Steine in den Weg legen. Also das immer schwieriger machen. Something different, my father said, is um, he loves the hobby and he loves the culture for, for coming together all around the world. Yes. But the problem is in Germany or in Europe, they started to have more strictly rules to have breeding farms. And it's hard to, to oh. have the hobby alive because in Germany, it's not so easy to have larger groups of birds because you need more space, you, okay. you need more time. And that's yeah. something different. I think when we was together in uh, Pakistan or when I was in Malaysia, then we saw that okay. it's more more friendly to have the possibilities to have a more planned more place to to build something like that yes so you have restriction on numbers uh, we have no restriction on numbers uh, es gibt keine restriktion es gibt keine menge die wir haben dürfen aber es gibt einen platz den du haben musst. weißt du den platz ja äh, bei nymphen sind die größe muss es äh, vier quadratmeter um, also okay. ein meter mal vier meter so um Maybe it's not, you have no restriction numbers in the birds. You have restriction numbers in the space they need. So um, oh, maybe just... the example is for cockatiels. When you have cockatiels, you need uh, one meter around four square meters to have for one pair of birds. And for Vögel ab 40 okay. centimeter Länge, also größer, mm -hmm. uh, dann muss es acht Quadratmeter sein. And when the birds are higher than 40 centimeters, you have uh, need more space. So how huge the bird, how huge the, the the place you need for them. Okay, okay. Okay. Uh, uh, one of our member named uh, Biraj Das wrote, I have a question, sir. Can, uh, can I fee feed seaweed and natural soil to my birds? Seaweed um, and natural soil. Um, can natürliche Öle und the first one, please, again. Or maybe show me the comment. I searched the comment too. Um, kannst du natürliche Öle und verschiedene Samen empfehlen? For which sort of bird? For which, which... Um, for, for, for Indian ringneck parrot? Ah, für, für äh, Halsbandsittliche, welche Futter? Ja, für Halsbandsittliche, äh, hier bei uns, Kanariensaat, mm -hmm. die Glatter um, hier. Okay. Um, I searched the English word, excuse me, I can't remember all the different seeds sure. okay. in English, one moment. Um, it's okay, it's okay, please take your time. So, um, the English word for something we are used to feed is a sorghum. Millet and uh, was noch? Uh, Weizen. Um, buckwheat. So ah. the English word is buckwheat. buckwheat. Maybe I sh send you uh, pictures for that one. Hafer. Okay, sure. So, and oats. So buckwheat, oats, we are feeding more seeds than soil. That's maybe because we in Germany have more the seeds than the soil, and uh, we try to feed all the ringnets 
more regional seeds and stuff we can have on the farms here around in Germany. So it's not so easy for us to get all the different seeds or soils from all around the world. Maybe it's too expensive too. So we buy on local yeah. farms to feed them. So you also feed them vegetables? Yes, sure. Um, different sorts like regional stuff too, like carrots, like apples, like um, different salads. And we feed um, mostly, we mix them. I will search a picture and okay. send it to you. You can maybe put it into the chat. So we try, my okay, father sure. put the book here too, so I can show you different um, <laughs> sorts to how we mix it. But mostly we try to okay. uh, cut different um, different vegetables around. It's not just vegetables. When we go outside and we found different um, plants, so different weeds. Here in, around our area, okay. there are different uh, yes, green yeah. weeds we can feed and we crop them and put them into the cage too. Okay. So sometimes it's Sorry. my father start breeding. Um, Wann hast du Halsbänder angefangen? 25 Jahren. Around 25 years ago, he starts breeding uh, with ringnecks and Indian ringnecks. And so first time it was to try out what they eat in Germany and what we can feed them. And so now it's a mixture of uh, vegetables and different seeds we get from the region. Okay. Oh, so you, uh, you mixed so mostly you, too. you uh, mostly use all kind of vegetables you for your birds. Yes, we use them. So um, we mostly use nature stuff. We don't use um, different medicine or um, sometimes you can buy different medicines, something to put into the water or so. And we don't use it so much. We give them more natural vegetables to feed them. Um, some okay. stuff like the seeds is better for a shiny uh, feather so that the, the yes. feathers are more shiny and so we feed them more natural sure. than, than to buy it. Also ich habe gesagt, wir kaufen möglichst immer Samen, damit das Gefieder glatt ist und nicht and one of the most one of the most important things my father said is uh, to have time or to have space that the birds get sunlight so with the sunlight um, the vitamin D I think is the English word so it's better for the bird too yeah yeah thank you uh, at the moment I would like to uh, inform uh, uh, declare to our vi uh, viewers uh, that uh, Sir uh, Sefer Friedrich has uh, accepted our invitation to be a international uh, international. Du wichtig, das yeah. hm? uh, to be our international honorary member of Agricultural Society of Bangladesh. Rifat, please uh, put the screen on. This is the screen for the. Rifat, please welcome Sir Frederick. Uh, Frederick as our international honorary member. Rifat, can you hear me? Gerade ein technisches Problem, dass der andere es nicht hört und nicht überreicht. Also bei den Futtersorten auch Hirsesorten viel. Verschiedene Hirsen. Gucken wir nach dem Wenn könnte man mal eine Zusammenstellung machen und das immer reinsetzen bei den auf der Seite. Um, my father ah. said, when there is something interested into the different kinds of seeds, we will try to write them down and put it into your group. So we put all the different okay, sure. sorts into your. That's easier to to remember everybody. We write it down yes. after the show. Yes. Okay, thank you. That will be great. Our our members can uh, follow that. Rifa, to me, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Second, please. No problem. Es dauert einen Moment. Ein äh, Bekannter braucht gerade. 
Na gut. You also have cockatiels uh, in yes, the farm, right? Yes, we have right? cockatiels too, right? Okay. Uh, they are more in, in Germany, how mm -hmm. many? Uh, in Germany, how many times you breed cockatiels in your farm? Wie oft haben die Nymphensittiche Jungtiere in Deutschland so ungefähr durch die Jahreszeit? Zwei, drei Boden. So two to three breeds. We have. Okay. So the, so, uh, the first time Februar around March, March and Februar, März, so, the okay. so the first breeding is around March. Oh, uh, two I times a year, right? Pardon? Uh, Again, you breed cockatiels two times a year. Uh, we have the possibility to breed three times around in Germany, but we are breeding two times. So around March, the first oh, time, okay. and the second time in the yes. August round. Okay. So this is the screen okay. I was waiting for to, to welcome uh, Sir Sekpet Fedrich from Germany as the International Honorary Member of Agricultural Society of Bangladesh. If you please say something on this. Du bist jetzt internationales Ehrenmitglied aus äh, Bangladesch und ob du dazu was sagen möchtest. Nicht herzlichen Dank dafür. <lacht> He's really grateful. He's really grateful and thankful. He's joyful to, to be a part of you and he hopes that he will get more time to go inside your group and write down, answer more, more questions. One of the problems because of the age of my father is he never starts yes. learning to have a different, different language. But um, together we try to answer every question. I see there are more questions around lovebirds with 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 um, yes. the, the accent. So so may, maybe we have not the time to answer everything, but we will try to answer often. And maybe or hopefully we see us sometimes in real, not in webcam. Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, we will wait for that. Some someday we will meet, and uh, I think uh, our members can learn learn a lot of things. Uh, I have a few comments. Let me read out one or two comments from our mm -hmm. members. Uh, I have a few comments. Uh, I have a question. My love bird produced five chicks. But... Okay. My, I have a question from Raisul Islam Khan. I have a, uh, my love bird produced five, five chicks, but only two or three chicks uh, died after five to ten days okay um jemand hat dort, what um, what can be the cause ah here's the question that's a good idea to see the question a question uh, what is the cause and how can i also the uh, problematic is that one has halt um has halt agaponiden and uh we come five to six eier but meistens come no two durch kannst du dir vorstellen woran das liegen kann uh, wenn der niskasten dann zu ist mm -hmm. Immer oben Belüftungsdeckel. Und es kann sein, wenn die Luftfeuchtigkeit nicht hoch genug ist mhm. für die Eier. Die tragen ja beide Stücke normalerweise rein. Mhm. Schälen ja die beide Stücke. Und die Feuchtigkeit hilft dann, dass die Eierschale nicht ganz so hart wird. Mhm. Okay. Um, so, there are many possibilities to have uh, to solve the problem. Uh, one of the possibilities is we don't know. The breeder maybe could show us a picture of the nest box. Um, it's important that the nest okay. box is sometimes open on, on the roof so that there can go air inside the nest and it's more, more air inside. And we think maybe in your country there's more humility, your more wetness in the air. Yes, yes. And it's important yes, yes. That, that it's getting drier inside. So with the air inside, it's getting drier and the, the eggs are in better condition. So sometimes this could help. And um, in Germany, we have... Um, a uh, tree we call it um, widow it's the widow or meadow okay. and our our um, lovebirds 
pick the the um, crop from the meadow and put it for the nest. Okay. So this get it dry too. So the most important thing is to oh. to solve the problem of the dryness. Maybe this is it. Oh. Maybe it's the box. So um, my father said again that the box have just one hole, and on the top it's more to getting air inside to have a better air condition. Right. Maybe or this better is ventilation. it's getting better. So, yes, this is. Yeah. Okay. Uh, one comment from uh, Farhad Ammar. He said, hello, sir. Please, uh, we are pleased to have both of you. Uh, a request to Sir uh, Fredrich. Can you please suggest, uh, suggest us some tips on Indian ringneck parrot breeding? Mm -hmm. um, gibt es allgemeine Tipps, die du sagen kannst bei Halsbandsittichen? wie man Halsbandsittiche gut züchten kann, welche Farbgebung oder so sind. Also Farbgebung, es kommt darauf an, man muss Bescheid wissen über die Vererbung. Mhm. Äh, rezessiv, mhm. geschlechtsgebunden, mhm. intermittär und dominant danach. Okay. So, also man um, müsste da über die Vererbung wissen und dann wissen, was man für ein Ziel hat, <lacht> äh, was man haben will für Farbe. Ja. Yeah. One of the most one of the most important things when you are breeding ringnets is to question your first your goal. When you have a goal to have a different color or different mutation, you need to know how you can solve the to come to the goal. And um, there are so many different colors, so many different styles to breed mutations. I want to have a huge bird. Do you want to have a color or a different mutation? And one of the most hardest problems to solve the problem to breed is that you learn the mutations. Is your bird dominant? Is it recessive? Is it um, the color? And so we have a, a book tip. It's an international book where it's really good to written down. So maybe you find it or maybe you can get it online. Could you give me a uh, Kansmith's book with again? So it's from an uh, European, from a European breeder that's from uh, Netherlands. It's called Bastian. Maybe you can read the name or can have a copy. Asian birds and the book okay. the book is so that you yes, yes. can learn from yes. all the different colors so I hope the camera is okay. right and on the other side right. on the other side here is right written down how you can get it so it's this version is in German the same version is yeah. in English too and then you can look inside to find which color of bird you want to have and what birds you need to get the color okay. thank so you so it's all the What's all the question? What do you want to have? <laughs> okay, we have few. We uh, we would read a few more questions. I write down the book title into the comments. Okay, sure. Uh, Mainul Hossein Faisal wrote, "Good evening, uh, Pedrich sir. Uh, thank uh, thank you so much for your valuable time and sharing your knowledge with us. It's an honor for us. Best wishes for you and your birds from Bangladesh." Eine ehrenvolle Dankbarkeit, dass du heute auch wieder da bist, schreibt jemand als Kommentar und er ist sehr glücklich darüber, dass du da bist. Thank you too for the comments. Thank you. Uh, we have another uh, comment from Mohammed Faisal Ahmed. Uh, he wrote, Ondu bhai, you are doing a lot of work with the BART sector, which shows your actions. Uh, you are almost introducing us to the big foreign, uh, foreign breeders and we are learning a lot from them. You are introducing ASB group to the world, the whole world. We are really benefiting from watching these live videos. Thank to Sir Fredrich yes, for joining yeah, us. Okay. Uh, Reza wrote, who is the, uh, wow, the, uh, this is the moment we are waiting for. This is an <laughs> honor that, this is an honor uh, that you are with us. Though I am a Finch breeder, but I am your fan, sir. This is the ein comment on the screen. Von dir. Es gibt schon über 100 verschiedene Farbschläge, Farbmutationen, Kombinationen bei den Halsbandsitten. So my father said, that I should come back to the question from the ringnecks, that um, yes. the problem with the ringnecks is that there are more than hundreds of different color mutations. So um, to yes, answer yes. the right question, we need to have more time with the different breeders, how they want to to solve their problems. And 
So never mind, everybody into the chat. When there is a question, you can answer or ask my father on Facebook, and he will answer your question when he finds the time. OK, thank you very much. Just give us some basic idea about the uh, food, uh, uh, different type of foods that you provide provide to your ringnecks. Mm -hmm. Ringneck so, was für verschiedene Futtermöglichkeiten gibst du denn alles den Halsbandsüttichen? Also zeitlich vielleicht auch den Unterschied. Also ja, im Winter, weil wir hier mhm. kalt haben, mehr fetthaltiges Futter, also Sonnenblumenkerne mhm. mehr. Und so, im Sommer mehr mehlhaltiges. Mhm. Also nicht fetthaltig so ich doll. Suche einmal kurz das Wort dafür. So my father said, um, because in Germany you have different um, temperatures. In the summer it's really hot or it's getting hotter and in the winter yes. it's getting colder. Uh, in the winter, you use more fat uh, foods, so like uh, sunflower seeds. And yes. uh, in, the, yes, sunflower. in the summer, you use more flour, so more uh, meals, meal seeds. And um, in the summer times, we use more fresh vegetables and uh, fruits. We are getting here, so in Germany, you can have apples and carrots and um, yes, the same food. potatoes or... Gurke muss ich gerade überlegen. Ich habe Gurke, warte. <laughs> uh, we can pickles, you know pickles. Pickles. So um, yes, yes, that's yes. because of the water inside the pickle. We can give that to, to them, and they feed it, uh, eat it too. Then Löwenzahn. Um, also we have we have a plant in Germany that calls um, Bembelian or Hawkbit. That's a flower, a yellow flower with a white stuff on it. We can feed it too. Yes. And um, okay. so the most is. I, I think one of the most important things is when you think about you have, I think in Bangladesh, that's an area where you can found um, white ring necks, like like in uh, the Indian room or in the Pakistani room. I don't know. Maybe it's in Bangladesh, too. Yes. And yes, this is also available here. It's a natural bird. It's a natural bird around in Bangladesh. Yeah, natural bird, right, right. Right. And in Germany, it isn't a natural. So if the first time when the first persons bring birds to Germany, they must find out what they can feed them because uh, right. we don't right. know it and uh, we don't have the right. same plant or the same nature around. And so my father right. tried everything inside and we found out that some flowers around here are really interesting for them. They loved it. And others, I think apple, you can get everywhere apples, but maybe yes, um, fruits. Yes, some fruits around in your country are cheap too. And when there's enough uh, vitamin in it, it's the most important thing for the birds. So um, I think every every country around the world must find their own possibilities to feed firstly sheep and firstly good for the bird. And uh, around the, the last 25, uh, 25 years, yeah. around the 25 years, my father said that um, he found out that the most interesting thing is to have different sorts. So it's the same like us when we are going to a restaurant or our wife or we are alone um, starting to eat, we want sometimes to have different food and the same is with the birds. Yes. Uh, well, what kind of uh, uh, extra food or egg food or soft food do you provide when there are chicks? Um, or maybe in, in the box. Was füttern wir dazu? Auch einfach Eierfutter. Ei, auch Süßfutter, Eifutter. Und um, angekeimte Körner, Sonnenblumenkerne und die Hirsekerne. So, um, Keimfutter. When, uh, it's egg food too, yeah. Um, breeding stuff, we, we buy it. But uh, my father said, we're starting to make the seeds um, nucleus. When, when the seed is starting to grow, um, we're putting some yeah, seeds yeah, into okay, water okay. and it's getting yes. wet from the water and when it's getting yes. to grow, they feed it too. So um, that's the best okay. when to have more fresh food for the time when they are breeding. Uh, do, you, do you use any egg, egg, boiled egg or something like that for protein? Yeah, yeah. Um, we use it. Uh, more protein stuff inside. Um, but I don't know if it's uh, available in, in Bangladesh. It's a product from, from a firm. It's... Um, more more egg stuff. It's yellow. Wie heißt das? Was okay. du denkst? CD, ne? CD. It's, it's ja, a, gibt it's es a, aber da yeah. eigentlich auch. Das gibt es auch als ganzen Welt. CD. Yeah. So we use, we use CD. Um, it's C, uh, uh, yes, E, D, yes, E. That is that's what we are using. CD, yes. That is available in Bangladesh. That is so available that's in what Bangladesh. we are using. But I think there are different yeah. um, companies who build the same. That's the protein yeah, and but there are, water on it. Right, yeah. right. 
there there are many companies who produce this uh, yeah, uh, egg food. Yeah. Different kind of egg food for so parts, just, yes. Just yeah, we also have here. CD. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, CD is also available in Bangladesh. Mm -hmm. Also, mm -hmm. Varsli Laga, Bangladesh. Viti Molen, these companies are available That's here. the companies we are getting here too, yes. Yeah. At Karl die drei Firmen aufgelistet, die man so kennt, halt die größeren. Uh, Abdullah Al Mamun wrote, Many thanks to Untukai and his team for their hard work to give us such a special program. By warm welcome to Sir Fred Bridge to join with us. For sure, ASB is going to make history for agriculture in Bangladesh. Lots of love to Untukai and watching. Uh, I am wa uh, he's watching and commenting from France, one of our members. Oh. Ein, ein äh, Mitglied aus Frankreich ist gerade auch dabei und hat sich nochmal bedankt dafür, dass er Zeit hat. And we think thankful to to Kanan too, because it's a really great idea from you to have such uh, idea for the breeders. Because um, my father and we we are talking together when we are starting with you to to have the connection to have a live stream. Okay. And something funny is, yeah. I think the breeding idea in Germany or in around Europe, in Netherlands around, is, is more longer yeah. to, to have a professional breeding farm. But um, in the last yeah. years, yes. they don't started to use the uh, internet like you are using it. And I think we are getting inspired from Germany and France and other countries in Europe to learn from you how you are coming together in huge countries to, to breed together and to connect yourself. Because... Germany is a small thank country you, you around much. like Bangladesh and uh, it's really interesting <laughs> yes. to see how you are using commu new communication to, to connect together yes. and I think we are learning to use it maybe in our societies too, that's a good idea. Yeah, man, you, you, yes, you, you can do you it, I think. Wo we do a special show, where we have 150, 200 different Halsbands in also 60, 80 Volieren bauen wir da auf. Mhm. Hast ja selber in Kassel erlebt oder mhm. sowas schon, wo dann die Mutationen gezeigt werden. So one of the most important things in Germany is that we are coming together in a, in a show. So we're Germany smaller, yes. but when we're going to northern or southern part in Germany, we have a huge show where we put a really huge areas with, with nature to build like a zoo, a mobile zoo, how we can right. show the different guests to how the, the birds are living in, in the nature areas. And this is the only part when the persons are meeting themselves. So the most persons oh. or the most breeders in Germany are calling, are getting on the phone, but they don't using technology like this to yeah, totally. coming together and bring new breeders and new interest into the hobby. Und da war ich ja IG-Sprecher davon gewesen, ja. Und wir haben ja Mitglieder auch aus Österreich, aus Frankreich, mm -hmm. aus Holland, Belgien und sowas, die dann da mitkommen. And, vorstellen. and an idea, my father said, so maybe for um, the society, Agriculture Society Bangladesh, um, when, the, when the society is getting huge and huge, there are different persons who have different birds and different interests. Sometimes it helps to, um, to find the different breeders with the same birds inside of the society to have special interest yes. groups and then with a special interest right. group it's easier now to getting them into a connection and uh, talking because when we are talking now all the time about ringnecks and there's a breed of lovebirds he's not interested in so you have time yes. for the special yes. parts yes. that's my father is more inside of ringnecks now when he was younger he started with budgeries and so the budgeries. interests are changing yeah. right Yes, it was our plan to make a platform from uh, where we can connect all readers from Bangladesh. Mm -hmm. You know, Bangla though Bangladesh is a small country, but people living in different places, uh, not in the same mm -hmm. city. Uh, here I live in Dhaka, that is the capital of Bangladesh. But you can see there are many comments are coming from different parts of the country. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and through using this platform, we can easily connect with each other. That's it, yeah. And we can help the breeders to meet the expert, also our local experts and also international experts like you. The easiest way, yeah. Yeah, and they, they, are, they are also getting highly encouraged. You know, uh, yeah, keeping birds and breeding birds is very popular here in Bangladesh. 
Mm -hmm. That's that's something special. I uh, when we are was when we was in Pakistan or in in the Asian room, yeah. something wonderful yeah. is that in your countries the younger ones. So around the teenage yes, years, yes. when you're 13 and 16 right, right, or 18, right. they're right. interested in breeding. Right. And that is something special. And everyone who's younger inside the group, I will say, my father, when he starts to, to breed, I was born inside the breeding area. My father was breeding all the time. And when I was a small boy, something special for me was that it was all the time around birds. And I loved it to have it. And... I'm a special person when, when I think about the other in my age. The most in my age are not interested in breeding in Germany. They're right. using the PC or the computer or they have right. playing football around or something. But um, to have the possibility to connect with something special like this hobby around the world, it's something what not everyone is. It's something unique. And I think that's something special. And when you're younger... It's it's something interesting yes. to learn from elder one from their from their exactly, knowing from exactly all. right and they also get highly encouraged when they uh, meet some seniors like uh, him and also uh, uh, breeders like him they also get inspired yes uh, we can do it too as they are also bird lover and and most of the Bangladeshi uh, uh, teenagers start this hobby from the from school age or college age you know. Mm -hmm from a very young age. And the young generation is in a huge number here who are keeping mm -hmm. birds. Um, in so we have one so, question. Gerade sehr viele junge Menschen halt auch anfangen zu züchten, was ja nicht so ja, bei uns der Fall ist. Und wir haben uns gerade darüber unterhalten, dass es halt sehr schön ist, dass eigentlich dieses Hobby gerade jüngere Menschen anspricht und dann auch wirklich mitmachen und dass man von älteren Menschen auch was lernen kann. Ja, es ist ja hier bei uns teilweise die Jugend kümmert sich mehr ums Internet. Mm, Habe ich gesagt, ja. ja. Also, my father said the same. Um, the problem is that the most younger people are not interested in nature anymore. And I think when you're breeding, it's not just to competition against the other one. The competition is that you have a really healthy and a good bird. And so you care about a living. You care about a living. You learn to have, have more um, importance about how the bird is coming out in the condition, then you go into a challenge and something funny is that you have so a connection around your, your home area. Um, when, when you're a breeder in Germany, we have no exotic birds or birds we are like to breed, but um, you have the possibility to have around your parakeets and different birds from Asian room. Yes, yes. And really when, when, I was younger, there was nothing more special to have some budgeries or some, some lovebirds around me. And um, the first birds, when I put them into, um, what's the English word? Um, some, 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 some. Um, to tame them. When you, when you start to okay. taming them, when you're younger. When, when I was younger, yes, it was yes. something really yes. interesting to tame it. Now we have no tame bird because we don't do it anymore. We think it's more important to have the natural inside the bird. But um, for me, it was something really special to tame it and to have the first words inside a bird. And that's no no other pet or no other uh, deer have the same possibility like a bird. Right. right. Yes. Birds are really very special. In the Städten and so was there being plats möglichkeiten. And so. My father said a difference. Dorf, wie wir wohnen, da geht es ja eher noch. When you're living in a village, it's more that you have space, maybe yeah. you have some garden or you have the possibility to have your own cage for it. And when you're living in town, it's starting the same in Germany. The most people going into town, they're living in town because they need to work and or they have more working possibilities inside the town. And then you have not the space for the birds. So sometimes it's it's more important to have the possibilities to to maybe have around your family. I think it's the same that, you're, that your family living maybe yes, on the village yes. and you're working in town. And so it's sometimes it's, it's good for your own healthness to, to working inside a town and coming home and care about birds because then you're going into yes. the nature and you're coming back and you come down. And that's something really what us helps. Yes, yes, that's true. Uh, in Bangladesh, you know, there are many small and big towns. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so uh, everywhere this hobby is very popular. 
these mm-hmm. days in all part of the country all young generations and everyone uh, in every city in, in small and big city there are breeders mhm also um, da bangladesh ja relativ groß und ein flächenland ist um, we we're, we're looking around on the other uh, pc we are seeing so the country the map of bangladesh and i showed to my father where dakar is ähm, gerade hier im nördlichen Raum okay. ist es halt so, dass dann halt dadurch das Land halt sehr verteilt ist, aber die, das Hobby ist halt überall und dadurch hilft die Vereinigung halt auch wirklich die Menschen zusammenzuführen. Oh. So Dakar is really in the middle and you're saying you're coming yes, from Dakar yes, and okay. Yes. So I yes. think some, something special is when you're going more northern around um, um, Parkour Gaon, Boda, Dorma. Yeah. Yeah. So in the northern Gaon, yeah, right. I think this is maybe an area where you're finding uh, more ringnecks because of the mountains. Right, or? right, exactly. Okay. Yeah. Now, and, uh, ringnecks are also available okay. in Dhaka, you know, in the natural. Ah, okay. There are lots of ringnecks Good. in Dhaka. Okay. Uh, so uh, we are learning. I would like too. to read one. <laughs> I would like to read one more comment uh, mm-hmm. from uh, Hani Fryhan. Uh, he is our vice president of Agricultural Society of Bangladesh. He wrote, Again. Uh, okay, Hanif Fryhan, Vice President of our society, mm-hmm. Agricultural Society of Bangladesh. He wrote, uh, okay, he wanted to know that he has Alexandrian parakeets, okay, mm-hmm. and they are quite aggressive and sometimes they kill, uh, kill their chicks, babies, mm-hmm. okay. Is there uh, uh, any reason or Can you please tell me what okay. we can do for this? Um, der Vizepräsident des Vereins, der züchtet Alexander-Sittiche, also die großen. Ja, Alexander, die großen. Die großen Alexander, ja. genau. Und ähm, es kommt vor, dass die sehr aggressiv sind zu den Jungtieren und dass er die Jungtiere auch töten. Hast du eine Idee, woran das liegen kann? Ja, es ist teilweise, wenn sie zu triebiges Futter haben. Zu triebig. Ich, ich suche dabei, ja. erzähl mir weiter. Weil dann tun die Hähne, wollen wieder nochmal die Weibchen treten, die Weibchen wollen aber die Jungen füttern und dadurch gibt es dann den... Was meinst du mit also, Triebig? Ja, äh, Vitaminreich ist zu doll. Es muss ja für die Jungen zum Aufziehen ja was da sein, mhm. Vitaminreich. Nur eben äh, eiweißhaltig muss es weniger sein, das Futter. Okay. Vitamin E. Also weniger Vitamin E. Ja, und weil das das Triebigkeit macht. Also du meinst im Sinne von, dass sie, dass sie äh, zu brünftig sind, ja. zu viel, zu viel. Ja, okay. triebig. Ja, ja, jetzt verstehe ich das Wort triebig. Ich sehe ja auch sein, kann man Okay. Um, so my father said, when they're in breeding time and when they want to, to okay. get chicks and you don't stop the okay. good food, don't the, not the good egg food and the got uh, vitamin E, okay. the birds are too okay. hard into the heat. They have too much heat. Okay. And so they want to get new chicks. And so they kill the old chicks oh. and want to breed again and to breed again. Breed so again, right. When, when they have chicks, start to, to put the food lower, not, more, not so many egg food again. Because when the chicks are there, you can okay. start to, to, yeah. to lower the food down. I hope it's okay. understandable. In der okay, got it. Okay. In der freien Natur, da müssen sie ja das Futter suchen. Mm-hmm. Da sind sie damit beschäftigt. Mm-hmm. In der Zuchtanlage mm-hmm. meinen die Züchter das meistens zu gut ah. und füttern zu viel. Da <lacht> yeah. kommen sie zu schnell ans Futter dran. Oder wenn zu viel Sonnenblumenkerne gefüttert wird, sind mm-hmm. sie ja schneller voll mm-hmm. satt. Mm-hmm. Und dann, dann haben sie nichts zu tun. Haben sie nichts zu tun und tun die Jungen, mm-hmm. weil mm-hmm. die betteln ja mm-hmm. teilweise auch um Futter, aber sie haben ja einen Kopf voll zum Füttern. Dann müssen sie nicht was zu tun sollen. Da brauchen sie nichts machen und da tun sie die dann durch angreifen. Und in der freien ah. Natur müssen sie mehr nach Futter suchen mm-hmm. und dann ran schleppen und so. Und dadurch sind sie dann beschäftigt. beschäftigt. So, um, when you... Sometimes it's easy when you when you are breeding birds to think the same when you are human. When you when you have okay. you have your chicks, and when you're in nature, when you're a bird in nature, you are all the day around to find your feet. You mu- you need to have time to find your your food. So you're flying away, searching for some food, flying back. But we are breeders, and we want to have a good breed. But the problem is that when they have nothing to do and you get them the best food, best food, best food, they have nothing to do. And the, the chicks are uh, crying all the time to have more food. And the, 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 um, the grok, the, the, um, 
the the neck, the throat is full of food, and when the throat yes. is full, yes. um, they can't feed anymore. So sometimes they're getting aggressive, and so it's better okay. to put the food down and say, okay, they need to wait to have more food when the chicks are there. Yeah. Okay. One second. Kumatose füttert ja extra nicht viel, sondern wenig mhm. und immer, dass es für einen Tag nur reicht. Dass er auch alles durchfressen müssen, dass er auch die mhm. kleinen Körner mhm. fressen müssen und nicht nur die großen, dass sie schnell satt sind. So, um, again about the um, great um, Alexandrin, when you have food just for one day inside the box, it's the easiest way, or when, it's, when, when you have to feed everything, then it's the best part. You must find the good level for the food. Uh, I would like to show our viewers the uh, picture uh, sent by Sir Fred Bridge, uh, the nesting box ah. of his birds. And in fact, it's this photo the uh, nest box. Um, so I, when my father see the picture, he will comment how he built it and how the... Okay, okay. One second. Uh, I think uh, our 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 viewers can learn from the picture. Uh, it's a different next ne uh, next box that you are using. We use we use another screen. So, wait. There is the screen. Okay. So, um, when you are seeing on the that's my father staying on the ground. Yes. And you see the picture is from from the roof down, and right. so yeah. there you see the hole inside. In the oben ist das Loch drin, ne? Das Loch, das so, so that's the part where the Baumstamm ist, wo ein Ast abgebrochen mm -hmm. ist und wo sie in das Paule reingehen dann. So when you think about um, a tree, a fallen tree, this is like they the the tree is falling down or lay down, and they they go right, inside. Right. And they go down inside, right? Yeah. Inside, and then they're sitting on the ground and have there the eggs. So, um, for the ringnecks, this is to yeah. Yeah. So, for the ringnecks, it's more important to have a long and going down hole. Oh, the Amazon gehen da auch ran. But, um, Amazon, um, we move as English about Amazon. So, an Amazon, um, goes there inside too. And this is from inside, you see. There are some yes. three, um, three ladder, like a ladder, how they go up yes. and go through the yes. through the uh, hole. And when they're sitting down, there they have all the breeding stuff. Also da die Leiter gehen sie ja hoch ja. und dann kommen sie raus. auf dem Brett nicht wegrutschen. So they, um, the own, the, the ladder is there that they can't um, swip away. This is how you can open it. You open it from, yes. from the top. So there you see down yes. on the X. And there you're seeing some um, some metal inside the the um, yes from the cage there they can climb up to. You are using a net, right? Inside. Yeah, inside. For, uh, yeah. As a ladder. Yeah. As a ladder. Yeah. Okay. So uh, this will be very helpful for for our viewers. Shubhro Nihon wrote, "Thank you, sir, uh, Sekpet Fedrich." Uh, for sharing your previous time with uh, your precious time with us, Sarah, I want to know about uh, cockatiel diet. Mm -hmm. Thanks a lot, sir. Uh, he is from here? another city of Bangladesh. Mm -hmm. I mentioned. Okay. Mm -hmm. So something about cockatiel diet. Right. Uh, excuse me, because of the English uh, face friend. Dying or a diet? No, nah, diet. Food. Cockatiel ah, the food. food, the food. Okay, okay, okay. Um, right, also, right, eine, right. eine Nymphensittich Diät. Was würdest du sozusagen sagen, was man machen kann, um ja, mehr, Low Cost? Mehr Hirsearten, nicht so viel mhm. Sonnenblumenkerne und keine Kardisaat, sondern mehr Hirsearten. So, 
my father said to have a better diet for the uh, cockatiels is to feed them more millet than sunflowers. You, you need to find okay. out is there many fat inside or not. So fat is something really special for the birds. Um, it's, it's okay to feed them, but think about yourself when you're going inside town and you want to eat in a restaurant and there's something really fat food and you're happy to eat it. But the problem is um, sometimes it's when you when you give the birds sunflowers and you give them millet, he will f eat first the, the sunflowers because it's better, it's sunflowers, easier to eat. Yeah, yeah. And so stop to yeah. put so much sunflowers inside, get more millet, and then they we eat more and it's healthier for them. So when you when you mix you. the food, when you mix the food, it's not so good because when you when you have a table with all your uh, lovely meals. You will pick all the time what you are loving most, but when you when you put something right. away, then you must eat all the oh, other yeah, stuff. Yeah. So don't give them every yes. time or everything. Give my canary in that. I need this price of English. Mm, das ist ein deutsches Wort. Das glaube ich nicht. Gibt es? Ja, mm -hmm. aber guck keinen Kanarien. Ich gucke mal nach einem. Ich gucke mal nach einem Bild. Warte. Uh, we're searching for a picture for special uh, canary seeds. And then we will send it to you. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> Do you use a uh, uh, send send in case send for button? Uh, nutzt du Sand in den Boxen oder nur? Ja, mo de mo ne ne bo in den Zugboxen nicht. Nicht in den Boxen. Dann immer Segelspiel nicht doch. Weißt du dieses Bonnet? Ja, ich weiß es. Ich wollte nur also. Vogel. Um, Holz. We are we are using uh, sand for the ground of the of the um, okay. whole fly area, but we don't use uh, sand inside of the nest. We are using in the in the nest uh, sawdust. Sawdust is, I think, the English word from the the from the wood. We cut it down, and when you're having a motor sh uh, a chainsaw, then you have the I think it's sawdust sawmill waste. Okay. Oh, so, sawdust. Sawdust, yeah. yeah. Uh, Miron Zaman, uh, our vice president, wrote, "Welcome, and it's an M. It it is amazing for agricultural society of Bangladesh uh, and the bird lovers of Bangladesh to join today's Adda with the German Legion." Auch der Vizepräsident bedankt sich dafür, dass du heute da bist. Und Dieser Kanariensaat ist auch viel mit, was ich immer zwischenmische. Dieses Fein. Und guck mal, drüben den Nymphen ging ja das nur in den Behälter. Mhm. Und Und keine Question. Äh, zu, der, ja. zu der Einstreuung nochmal im Nistkasten. Guck mal, in den Bäumen tun sie die Rinde innen drinne, das mhm. Morsche zerfressen, mhm. fällt nach unten und da mhm. sitzen die drauf und deswegen auch so Sägespäne hier ja. hat. Mhm. Um, so when you're thinking when the bird or when the ringneck is breeding, my father said, and normally in nature they breed inside old dead trees and when the tree is falling uh, yes, down yes, yes. and they go inside, right. they are cutting from the inside the, the wood inside. up and so when right. when you're putting something from the wood, it's the normal stuff with what's going inside the box. Okay. Wood stuff, right. Sägespäne mm -hmm. oder von der Motorsäge, die Kettensäge. Das hatte ich auch gesagt. Das war die ist dann. Motorsäge. Und da können die Eier auch nicht untergewühlt werden, so wie im Sand. Das liegt ja auf dem mm -hmm. Holz, sind ja schwerer die Eier mm -hmm. als das Holz, ist ja leichter. Und dann liegt das da drauf, dann schaden das nicht weg. Wie groß würdest du die Sägespäne sagen? Ja, Daumengröße und sowas von der Kettensäge ist. Oder Hobelspäne, wo es Hobelspäne, wenn die zu lang ist, mm -hmm. äh, dann noch mal ein bisschen zu reißen. Okay. Uh, something really important is when you have your nest inside that the um, saw waste, uh, the, the, the sawmill, is not so long. Yes, because yes. when it's too long that the eggs falling down. When, when everything is in the nest and the right, egg is right. putting inside, it's sometimes it's falling down. So put your stuff really small. When it's small parts, they, the eggs can't fall down inside it. Er kann auch das in dem right. Kasten wood nehmen, chips, sort of wood chips. Da da sieht man auch die wood Eier. chips, that's the same, but, that, but more yes, um, smaller. Da wo ist das eine Bild, wo die Eier drin sind im Nistkasten. Yeah. Da kann man ja sehen, die Sägespäne. Guck mal, wir suchen mal hier. We are searching a good picture for it and put it into the chat too. Okay, okay, sure, please. Das hier? 
one one of our fellow bird breeder named Rana is from Russia, another city of the country. Mm-hmm. He wrote, uh, "I am from Russia. Thank <laughs> you so much for this live. Uh, I also love Ringneck. Thank you, everyone. Okay, uh, someone Thank you named." Too. Uh, I have a I have a question on cockatoo. So, so please, uh, one of our fellow bird breeder, Sapphire Nest, wrote, "Hello, sir. How are you doing? I have a question that I have a cockatoo farm. Now I face some problem. Mm-hmm. My cockatoo give four to five eggs and baby uh, and babies also four to five babies, but." Mm, now in the now is the problem that maximum baby are dying after one to seven okay. within one to seven days. Mm-hmm. I read the question one moment again. Uh, so oh yeah, I have a question. Also, um, here is someone who has a nymphensittich farm, and in the nymphensittich farm is it so that a few or so four to five eggs lays and also young bekommt, but auch in so one to seven days, sterben die jungen Tiere. Und er weiß nicht, wo das Problem sein kann. Wahrscheinlich dasselbe wie auch bei den, äh, bei den Agaponiden. Das ist einfach zu nass, das Nest ist fertig. Nein, zu nass nicht. Die, äh, wegen dem Betteln. Mhm. Weil Nymphen sind dich ja anders füttern als Halsbandsittiche, die rütteln. Mhm. So wie Kakadus. Mhm. Nymphen sind ist ein System wegen Kakadu, der rütteln tut. Mhm. Und wenn die Jugend nicht richtig betteln wollte, also, da kann mhm. man aber so nichts machen. Es ist hier allgemein auch bei Nymphen, dass sehr viel junge nach drei Tagen, sieben Tagen tot im armen Kopf noch was drin, mhm. aber dann hudern die Alten nicht genug mhm. auch. Hudern? Oh Gott, was ist denn das Wort für hudern? Ähm, warte mal. Ja, sitzen nicht genug drauf. Yeah. Um, so, um, there are many different problems for breeding cockatiels. Um, the difference around cockatiels is they are coming from Australia, like uh, budgies. And yes. um, I don't yes. know the English word, I search it for it. Uh, it when they are... Um, when they are begging, when they are begging for food and they are sitting inside the nest and, and they, okay. they yes, are yes, yes, begging, yes. then um, sometimes the parents can't feed them right. And that's the same in Germany too. We have many eggs, you have many small chicks, but sometimes they don't feed them right. And when they don't feed them right, what can man do here? They do it here with hand off So, hand off food. Because the old Man kann ja Nymphensittiche auch nicht als Ammvögel für die Halsband nehmen. Dann nimmt man Singsittiche. Okay. Weil die anders füttern als eben die Nymphensittiche. Nymphensittiche ziehen junge Halsband zwei, drei Tage und dann gehen die auch kaputt. Okay. Wenn die als Ammvogel genommen werden dafür. Und äh, halt Futterart oder irgendwie was, wo man das auch. So the best idea is when uh, the, the breeder wrote down that they are dying between the first or seventh day. That's my father said it's normal. Yes. That's the problem sometimes. But um, when you when your bird is not a, a hand bird, when you don't when you don't breed the bird with your hand, and the bird is a natural bird, yes. then he knows how he feeds. When you when you have a right. good bird in a good condition, but you are the breeder, you are the feeder. As a human, you are feeding the bird. Right. The bird are not learning the same yes. possibility to feed the bird. So uh, this okay. is a problem because m- many persons starting to to feed their birds with a hen, and so the the younger chick don't learn how he feeds his own bird when he's getting older. Okay, right, right. And I, uh, that Excuse means me, uh, uh, there's you... no answer. <laughs> It's okay. Uh, uh, we have uh, one other question from Miran Zaman Bhai. Uh, he wrote, please tell us something about feather plucking. Uh, feather rupfen. Okay. A question yes. about He wants to feather. know uh, feather plucking of, of babies. You know, mm-hmm. sometimes the parents pluck, pluck feather of mm-hmm. their chicks. Mm-hmm. Why this happen? Ähm, wieso ziehen manchmal die äh, Eltern Federn von den das Rupfen? Das, Rupfen? das ist, wenn es teils zu dunkel im Niskasten ist. Bei den Collis kommt das, bei den Akaponinen kommt mhm. das auch das vor. Wenn dann oben den Niskasten ein bisschen auf, was das Licht reinkommt, mhm. dann hören sie mit dem Rupfen auf. Okay. Das ist teils, die sitzen ja 
lange mit im Kästen mhm. und die Jungen tun die dann irgendwie stören. Also anpicken. Und da fangen diese dann an zu ziehen. Also das ist so eine Art Abwehrhaltung. Und, ja, weil, es weil es im Dunkeln ist. Und wenn dann Nistkästen oben die Deckel auf, deswegen mhm. sind dort die Büsche, die klammern das manchmal mhm. zwischen, dass Luft nicht reinkommt, mhm. dann hört das auf. So, uh, my father said, a problem of the plucking could be that it's too dark inside of the nest, so in the nest box. Um, we are using, when the, when the birds are getting older and the eyes are getting open, so maybe it's too dark inside and the younger chicks start to, to, yeah, to not to fight, but to, to make the, the parents angry. They're picking the, the parents. Okay, okay. And yes. so the parents yeah. start picking back and that's the plucking. So a chance to make the yes. problem away is to uh, put a close, close spin, a close spin, so a close spin yes. uh, in yes, the box, yes. in the roof to, to open it a little bit. And when it's open, they're getting okay. light inside. And when the light going inside, light. so the light inside helps to stop the plucking. Die meisten Nistkisten sind ja so gebaut, dass das Loch von vorne ist. The most nest boxes are that the that the, uh, the das, hole is from the front side. Dann geht das Licht rein. And so the light going inside, unten. the light going inside on the on the back, and it's going not down. The problem is when you're not when down, you're not straight down, right? yes. not straight down. So some, it's sometimes yeah. it's important that the light falling down to the X2, so that you that the birds have. Light. Und deswegen ist bei den Kästen von den Halsband, die er hatte, das Loch oben, dann fällt das Licht von oben rein. Mhm. Bis bei den, unten bei den Halsbändern, aber bei, bei den, den Halsbändern. Ja, aber so und bei den anderen deswegen den Deckel aufmachen. Okay. Oder sogar den Deckel hochheben und ein bisschen nach vorne schieben. Das richtig ein Spalt frei ist, das Licht reingeht. So the best idea, my father said, is to, to have a, something, a place to get light inside of the, of the, of the egg. Okay. And that's the possibility that they, don't, that they may be stopped. Can you right. sagen, so this can be a reason. This when, could when be a reason. Basically, the chicks dark. open. Yeah, when the, when sometimes when the chicks open their eyes, uh, yeah, you you tell uh, you just told that they need light inside the box, right? That's right. Yeah. Yes, bitte du. Deswegen tun die Halsband ja kaum die Jungen opfen, weil das Licht bei Fuchs dann mehr von oben reinfällt. Mm -hmm. Durch dieses längliche Loch, was oben ist. So when you're remembering the pictures you're showing to the community, um, that our boxes yeah. are so that it's going down and so the light going down to the ground. Right. Yes, your boxes are in an angle position, right? In a yeah, slope position. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And because of the, the, okay. the cockatiels, the cockatiels don't go inside such uh, such a nest. It's easier to make yes. it open on the on the top. On the top, yes. Uh, we have one uh, one comment from uh, one of our brother South Iftikhar. He wanted to know what kind of favor, or uh, do you get any favor from your government uh, about uh, exotic bird farming? A favor. Um, if there's yeah, if if we are getting something from from our government, <laughs> okay. Um, gibt es irgendwas, wo der Staat uns unterstützt oder wo, dass der Staat uns hilft? Bei dem Vogelzug gar nicht. So when you're a bird breeder, you're getting nothing. There is no, there is no favor, there is okay. no, no, um, this is not a hobby in Germany where we have a lobby. Um, we have some, we have some okay. societies, yes. But the societies are more for breeders and to help to connect the breeders. Um, there is no no lobby for the politicians to to make our hobby more popular or to help us to breed birds. Um, I think I think something is that the um, I must word search the word um, the most the most environment organizations the most environment organizations are that the that the problem is yes. that the environment starts that we are not good for the birds um they say our hobby is not right but um our, oh. our cages our cages and our farm is with nature stuff inside it's huge enough they can fly they have fresh water they have fresh food they have vegetables so 
this is this is not this is not the nature. Sure, it's not the nature, but um, we are trying the best to have the best place for the birds, and so the right. government don't help us because they're getting a wrong picture from our work. Yeah, we. <laughs> so, uh, something something different is just 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 a small the taxes the taxes for food are a little bit lower so the breeding or the the seeds are not so much taxed like our human eat oh, right. here we also face a, a similar no, problems you know the go government one uh, okay uh, no government point. wanted to expose license and high tax on bird keeping, but the mm -hmm. associations here uh, in our country, like Agricultural Society of Bangladesh, uh, we had to fight for it, you know, against okay. the government Fighting, rules. Yeah. And yeah, and finally, uh, the law came uh, uh, for us, you know, mm -hmm. for the betterment of the bidders. We achieved it, and, and though the case is also uh, still in the high court. Mm -hmm. the, the same situation, Sir. I think, like everywhere. Yeah. Also, es ist dieselbe Situation auch dort. Sir. Die Regierung fängt natürlich auch an, gewisse organisationelle Veränderungen zu starten, damit das Züchten halt legitimierter wird. Ja. ja, durch die äh, Artenschutz und durch genau. die Naturschützer sozusagen. Das genau. ist immer schwieriger, die dagegen sind, Sir. gegen die Haltung. I think, I think everyone of us know that the protection of species is really important and that it's important to, to save the environment. And so I think some rules and some standards are really important for us all, that we have the same conditions and the yes. same situation for that the birds. Is. And yes. It's the same. It's the same like us. We we want to have this more rights. We want to have more space, or we we are getting right, happier right. when we have space to 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 feel as well. But I think right. it's important for us in Germany. We are really restricted and stricted laws to getting birds inside the country. You don't getting any birds from Bangladesh anymore or from Australia. Uh, or there are so many species around the world you can't getting to Europe. So it's more important to have good conditions for the birds we're having here. Um, my father started breeding around 50 years ago, and so there was a normal uh, to, to getting birds from everywhere. And so we are in the... Wie viele the Vogelgeneration hast du? Also, wenn du überlegst, das sind ja von hier gezüchtete und das sind immer wieder ja, nachgezüchtete. Das sind ja so zehn Jahre ungefähr Lebens- oder Junge ja. und sowas dann. So when you when you're thinking about the lifetime around 10 years from a ringneck, so 10 years are yes. the time they're getting in, in breeding condition. Und bei den Collies eben ein bisschen weniger, so sechs, acht Jahre ziehst du mit denen dann. Also wie viele Generationen haben wir dann ungefähr? Teilt 50 durch sechs. Neun, der zehnte so Generation. my father said um, the most ringnecks are in the sixth or seventh generation borning in Germany. Oh, so um, yeah. the, the, the ring necks so here, I don't, know, I don't know if you know it, in Europe, around the Cologne area and around Amsterdam, yeah. around other uh, yeah. towns in, in Europe, they yeah. are getting more natural birds. There are ring neck colonies around the towns. Okay. And they are living here for the whole winter inside of the, if, uh, inside of the um, area. So the most time you can't tell anymore that our ringnecks are the same like the natural ringnecks anymore. So that means you have a lacking of new bloodline, right? I, I think so too, yes, because uh, yeah. now there are 50, 60 years around. There's not so yeah. many blood coming inside the last years to Europe. So I think, sure, we can say there's a different part of, of cutting new species. New bloodline. Okay, sir. Yeah, uh, please see this. Can you remember this? Ob du dich daran erinnern kannst. Yeah. <laughs> He's remembering. Yes. Uh, yeah. You send it uh, in 2018 in our exhibition. Du hast es 2008 geschickt gehabt yeah. zu der Veranstaltung. Ja, ich jetzt bei Weltshow und so hast du doch die auch. He's. Uh, this is this is his special thank for all your yes, breeders yes. when you're going to your show. 
Um, it's yeah. It's nothing. It's nothing official. It's not official from from any society. It's just a honor from my right, father. Right. So special. Yes, I know. That. Present for the breeders in your yeah. association. Yeah. Thank you very yeah. much for that. Well, it was a <laughs> big surprise for us. Next time, when you when you're saying you have your next show, we will see if you. Uh, we, we had a plan. Well, you know, uh, we had a plan uh, for our next show in the last. Uh, March, you know, mm -hmm. but for this COVID nineteen situation, we we couldn't arrange that. The same in so Germany, that everything. Be delayed. Yeah, yes, everything is uh, stopped right now. Yeah, it's the same in Germany. It's the same around. I think all of the world, and this is something special for us all that we have not the possibility to to have our hobby. But um, then the new idea is now that we are starting to to coming together on a computer and sitting in a web chat and talking yes. so yes. i think it's the same it's interesting too but yeah i don't know also very um, interesting maybe the possibility is to when you when we are preparing more that we can show more feathers and more different boxes this is the first time we're sitting in the same situation with you and it's the same first time my father yes. has a live yes. stream and he don't know it like the okay. technique and okay. so um, the next time it could be possible that we are showing here different boxes and different possibilities yes. to, yes, to show yes, it more. Yes. It's getting dark in your time zone. I think you are now around okay. 10 o'clock. Yeah, so. it's, it's night. It's, it's, yes, it's, 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 it's over 10. Yeah, 10.30 so, here. Um, es wäre eine Möglichkeit, dass man ja beim nächsten Mal hier verschiedene Nistkästen zeigt oder die verschiedenen Boxen. Yeah. So I think the next time when we interest and we can show different possibilities, how we are breeding, what we are feeding, and then we are showing different, um, different okay. feeds, sorts, etc. Sorts. Okay. So in, in, in future, in, in, a, in another live, we will see your boxes, your setup and something like that, okay. what you feed. Uh, this, is the, this is the picture of your farm, right? Yeah, that's right. It's the garden, and behind that you're seeing it's from 1970. My father built it on his own with a friend. Oh, and this oh, are 16, 16 or 17 uh, boxes with wood. I okay. can't show it on the on the map. Yeah. So um, it's not it's not from okay. metal. In this time, metal was not ex it was too expensive. You can't buy uh, aluminium. Um, aluminium. Okay. So next picture, Rifat. Yeah, sure. Rifat, please show us the next picture, one after another. Yes, this is another angle, I think. It's another angle, and you see it down. You, you can't okay. see the birds behind that, but... Right. <laughs> so this is next something one. special you can buy. This is something special you can buy in Germany, I think in Bangladesh too, to, to get raining yes. weather. Uh, it's just the, right, the right. Um, stuff with some holes in it, and so it's like, like yes. showering for them. We put it on right. the roof. Well, they are birds are getting bass, so this is the yes, your, your avid is beautiful, isn't it? It's full <laughs> of green. That's something that's something special when you're, when you're around the northern Germany, it's really wonderful and really green to live in here. Yeah, uh, uh, uh dear Torben, can you read one comment here? I think uh, this is Mr. Martin from Netherlands. Uh, I can't Mark. read exactly what he wrote. I, I searched Mr. Wait. Martin. Yes. Uh, it would be great if you read it and translate uh, us. Uh, I think he's wanted to say something. Martin, Martin, Martin Skriften. Skriften. Um, Got it? I don't find it. One moment, please. Okay, sure. Please take your time. Uh, thanks, sir, for writing my message. This is the best day. Um, Not written in I, English. I don't. I don't. I don't find it in Streamyard. I search on Facebook. One moment, please. Okay, sure. It's not written in English. It's in uh, so maybe in German or in Dutch language, maybe. Well, uh, he's oh, from sorry. Netherlands. He's from Netherlands. Uh, Sir Sawdust, uh, what chain is one perfectly better to give him sign of the box? Um, there are no new comments in my stream. I search, I start the stream again on Facebook, and maybe the question starts then to. Okay. Yeah. Up. Can you? Ah, we are. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> no, it's, uh, it's it will be Martin. Martin. 
I searched the name Martin, right? Okay, uh, Martin. Uh, yes, he's connected with your father in Facebook. Uh, and he's from Netherlands, okay. I know. Uh, ein Martin aus, aus den Niederlanden hat eine Frage, aber ich finde sie nicht hier. Uh, I think it's Netherlands. I can't read it because the, the, um, the, oh. the pictures is, is blurring. I can't see the picture when you, okay, okay. When you showed me. So uh, I will search it and I hope we will answer it after it, but I don't see him. I think he's a, he is also a very senior breeder, also a breeder from Netherlands who breed uh, different kind of ring necks. Ein älterer, ein älterer Züchter aus den Niederlanden oder ein, ein auch, auch erfahrener Züchter, das ist das richtige Wort, hat wohl einen Kommentar geschrieben, den ich jetzt gerade nicht finde hier bei Facebook. Und da es auf Niederländisch oder auf Deutsch ist, kann er jetzt gerade die Frage nicht vorlesen. So, excuse me, Martin. Um, I hope I find the question again when we are searching into the shit after it. I, I can't find it. So, excuse me. Okay, okay. No problem with that. Uh, you know, yeah, Germany is very popular in Bangladesh because of football. Uh huh. Again, about There what? Are three. Uh, about, for football. About football. Ah, for football, for yeah. Top, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> football. There, football there are. Is in Bangladesh, most people support three countries: Brazil, Argentina, and Germany. Also, es gibt drei Länder, die im Fußball unterstützt werden in Bangladesch. Das eine ist Deutschland, das andere ist Brasilien und das andere ist Argentinien. Das so. But we are not we are not interested in the in the ball. We are interested in X. So we, <laughs> we we have no we have no fan we have no fan club. We are not into football. My father started with with breeding when he was 14. Everybody in his okay. age was was in football and they loved to play football. My father has, yeah. I think, Werder Bremen, or a little Werder Bremen fan. Yeah, Braunschweig or Hannover. So, so he has some local, some local clubs he's interested in, but not so much like other persons. Well, not Bayern. Um, <laughs> but not, we're not, we're not liking Bavarian football. Bavarian is southern Germany. We are trying to have local communities from northern Germany, like Hannover or like Werder Bremen and such. Clubs, and there are there are some other books I wrote it right down for uh, your breeders. They are in English too, and there is one book from a really really legendary breeder from Germany called Otto Lutz. Maybe you know Otto Lutz. That's um, yes yes yeah. That's a book. This this yes. book is in German, but um, I r um, will write it down. He translated in it in English. So there you find all different. Uh, Diets, how you can breed, how the mutations are. Um, you have really good pictures inside. You have uh, how you need to breed the boxes. And I think when you find it in the internet, this would be a good book too. So um, yes. I would write it down uh, to comment. This is this book is on uh, cockatiel. This book is just for cockatiels. Wait again. Um, okay. I so this is German word for cockatiel, but. Um, so there you can see the different different um, breeding conditions. You have the possibility yeah. to see the different colors, and yeah. I think you need you need some real pictures in like in a book to to have. But I, I have this one, you know. I have this I one. Maybe this from from which which uh, author? Terry. Oh, that's an American really good book yeah. from America too. Excuse me. Um, yeah. So this one, this one, and in Germany, it's from Otto Lutz. These both books together, I think, have something special. So um, the most books in Germany are from around 2010, 2000. That's the newest books. There are no new books from the last 10 years anymore. Because um, when, you, when you're seeing this book, um, so for Ringnecks, this is these both. This is the first one from for the ring next from bastian wait there's okay. the name and yeah. so when you see this is the second edition it's getting okay. bigger and the problem is bigger. it's getting bigger and bigger and but there are some some pictures in it where they are really interesting and i think something more important is to put all the information and the wisdom together inside of a book Sorry. Ah, 
I found I found the English. Um, I have this one from US, I think. You know, uh, Silva, the Tony Silva. Silva. This yeah. Tony Silva is you. Yeah. yeah. I have Martin's. Um, I found the comment from uh, Martin Streibben. Okay. It's it's Berlin, but I must I must no, translate can... it too because it's not German. It's it's uh, Netherlands. One they moment. Can, they can yeah, you seid befreundet wohl auch auf Facebook, aber uh, one moment. Den haben wir auch getroffen, Tom, in Holland. Ah, den haben wir. Dieser Grau. Schöne Erklärung von einem erfahrenen Züchter und Vogelpaar und hat kein Geheimnis, wenn es um Vögel geht. Ich denke Ihnen für die wunderbar. Uh, so the comment, the comment is like um, he's happy to read the different comments and he's happy to see a honored breeder and uh, that we are no making making no mystery about breeding. So it's more important to talk about breeding and what what is the breeding. best way to breed because everybody learns from everybody. And there is an English right. sentence called sharing is caring, and I think. Sharing yes. information and sharing uh, different wisdom and learn from right. other ones is something more important than when we are losing, yes, losing wisdom. Yes, yes, yes. This is very true. That you know, the motto of our ASB Live is sharing is knowledge. Sharing is knowledge. That's right. Yeah. Yes. Uh, wissen and ist, oder wissen zu teilen ist, ist eine Form von wichtiger Information. Thank you very much. And we have many, many good wishes, you know. And uh, for our mm -hmm. viewers, I would like to say for the best wish to Mr. Sekfit Fredrich, we will have a gift from our Agricultural Society of Bangladesh for our viewers. So keep commenting and keep wishing him. Uh, for die the best Zuschauer comment, und, we will und, give this gift. Die besten Wünsche schenken, die sollen dir gute Wünsche schenken. Das ist ja auch eine kulturelle Frage. Jeder Kommentar, der dort reinschreibt, dass er dir etwas Gutes in Zukunft wünscht, der kann die Tasse gewinnen. Die Tasse? Die Tasse, die Tasse, ja, die, die du gezeigt hast, genau. My father made, my yes, father made yes. a joke, my father made a joke, because he said, that's a really okay. beautiful, beautiful um, English, I, he Tasse. said, maybe he must write down, maybe he must write down a wish too, because he liked it. <laughs> That's yeah, and my father, a... my father just just shows something from. He will coming back in a short moment. Uh, sure, sure, sure. Try something to search. Uh, this is a you know this is a mug with our logo. Of, a mug, uh, a mug. Yeah, that's, that's quite logo. nice. Yeah, mug. <laughs> yes, and, and the also, orange, uh, the orange holder. Yes, yes, with the orange ring. This is the logo mm -hmm. of our society, Agricultural mm -hmm. Society of Bangladesh, and uh, it's uh this is the. Uh, this is here it is written ASB live and the motto of ASB live is discussion with the breeders and sharing experience. This sharing is the experience. motto, you know, okay. Discussion okay. with the breeders and sharing experience. Wonderful. <laughs> uh, ho ho hope someday I will, I will be able to send you uh, this uh, mug for you and <laughs> your drink, father. <laughs> we drink together a tea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm also having some green tea. So, my father, my father's searching this one. This is this is just one of our oh. marks where a cockatiel is on it. Oh, <laughs> yes, yes, beautiful. <laughs> and I, you know, you know, uh, we also have cockatiel in the middle. Yeah, in the yeah. logo. Yeah, in the middle. Yeah. So um, this is the logo. It's a cockatiel. This, this yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. Uh, one more member road. Feeling uh, triple. Uh, feeling privileged to get the opportunity to have a view of Sir Fred, uh, Sekpet Fredrich breeding setup. Uh, hopefully mm -hmm. someday in, in future, you, uh, Torben, you will show the farm, show the farm from your smartphone. Uh, okay. We will, we we'll will show, live we can, in, in, when in, we are in, starting in, earlier, maybe it could be possible on the weekend. I don't know. I think Friday is the day when it's uh, yeah. yes, free time yes, in Bangladesh. Yes. So um, yes, we yes, can yes, go yes, outside, yes. but actually it's getting dark outside too. We can't see anything outside. No, no, it's okay. Yeah. Okay, we will we will do that a bit earlier next time. That would be the possible best way. Yeah. yeah. Yes, yes. Maybe at uh, 3 p.m. your time. That is 7, uh, 7 p.m. Dass man das nächste Mal, dass man das nächste Mal vielleicht versucht, so um 30 zu treffen, dass man auch mal rausgehen kann, mal draußen Sachen zeigen kann. And uh, we were we were getting prepared with different boxes with different seat sorts okay. and in different okay. cases so we can show sure. with the camera different ideas. Ich werde sure, please take your time. Ich werde 
Nymphenzüge, der mir gesagt hat, jetzt die Tage, dass er es geschafft hat, dass die Jungen überstehen die erste Zeit. Okay. Um, er hat da irgendwas geändert, aber was weiß ich, habe ich jetzt nicht mitgekriegt. My father told me there was the question with the with the problem to getting the cockatiel chicks around the next seven, eight days to, to get them older. Yes, yes. And he, yeah. he's remembering that there was a breeder who told that he solved the problem. But she will ask again okay. and then he will send you the question to the comments person. But he can't remember oh. it anymore, so he must search for the answer. Weil er hat die Jahre auch immer gehabt, dass die Jungen kaputt gegangen sind. Mhm. In mehr. Und dann hat er zwei, drei rausgenommen, hat nur zwei drin gelassen. Dann hat es komischerweise geklappt. Also die, die Menge fallen. Ja, und jetzt ja. hat er aber irgendwie eine Futterumstellung gemacht mhm. und es wäre jetzt besser. Okay. Es gehen in die Jungen nicht. Er meinte, dass das wäre genbehandelt wahrscheinlich, das Futter. Gut, aber das, das kann man nicht, er hat untersuchen oder will es untersuchen lassen. Mm -hmm. So um, it's hard to explain all what my father said actually to me. Uh, there is another breeder in Germany, and he will ask him again what's the, the, the to solving oh. the problem, but he he can't answer it now. And I don't want to translate everything now because there was some some okay. not true things. You know what I mean? There was he, he can't say yeah, it, so yeah. he will he will answer again, and then he will answer the question. Okay, no problem. So, uh, Torben, I would uh, request you uh, one thing. That uh, mm -hmm. most of the most of our viewers wanted to know that what kind of food you uh, provide your birds. So if you can mm -hmm. uh, take some photograph of those and post in our group, that will be very helpful. We will do it. I think it's it need more preparation to to show. I must search all the English words. I must take a picture and okay. then we will do it. So that's the okay. best idea. And, you can and do it show... in, uh, whenever you are free. Okay, so that's good because. And you must remember, we are using different foods for different seasons. In the winter, we feed different right. oh. sorts than yes. in the summertime. Okay. okay. Uh, whenever you have time, when you are free, please uh, take some picture and uh, uh, post it in our group. So our viewers can see that. Mm -hmm. Und das war Fotos machen, mal aufschreiben. Oh, und was Zusammenstellung. Du hast die Zusammenstellung, auch, genau. Hast du verstanden? Die, Gut. Die Körner. Okay. So, uh, dear Torben, uh, uh, dear Sekpet Fredrich, uh, it's really a great honor for us to have you among uh, all our viewers in Bangladesh. And That's you good. see, uh, we have some questions from India and uh, also a wish from Netherlands. Um, and slowly but steadily, our uh, ASB Live is uh, going to an international platform with your help. Uh, you know, okay. a few days ago, Tony, Sil Tony Silva came to our live. Mm -hmm. uh, 10 to 15 days ago and Tony this is the second out, time yeah. this is the second time some international person legendary riddle like you uh, came to our life where this is a privilege for us thank you so much for joining us and we had a great conversation for uh, over one and a half hour and uh, in near future uh, someday we will again came, come to live and see your farm your boxes your setup and everything i think that will uh, be very helpful for our for our viewers you know i want to thank in you in the name of my father in my name for your great yeah. idea because it's something new and something pioneer working to find such new ideas and such new format formats like like this this was never before when my father was in your yes. age you can't build something like that because there was not the right. technique to, to have now the, the possibilities to talk so around the world, I think it's something yes. important for our hobby too. And I hope that some other countries will learn from it and to share some information like, like we are doing it now. And we are getting right. better professional for us all together. That would be a great idea. Yeah, thank you very much. And you know, uh, this live, we started uh, uh, two years ago. Okay. Uh, we started two years ago, Five but uh, from, for the last one month, for the last okay. one month, we are doing it uh, on an international platform. Uh, Tony Silva was the first one to be in our life, and mm -hmm. your father is the second person, second legendary reader who came to our life. And among all the bird societies in the world, we are the first uh, who have uh, who has arranged this kind of uh, uh, facilities As to introduce. 
Great. live gut zu machen, ist auch aus Bangladesch jetzt. Uh, we never heard yeah. it before, too. Uh, so there is no, no society we are knowing in Germany or in France or in Italy who are doing the same idea. And I think um, we, we said it, sharing is caring, copying is, is, is a good yeah. idea. So I hope yeah. that other societies are starting to do it the same because so we can learn together, switch together, finding us. And I think we're getting connected with the world. Yes, yes. And, and in future, we will also be connected uh, like this a few more times so that our, our breeder can learn from him. My father, my father asked a question. When, you, uh, okay. when your society is, is uh, having a show, a real show, which kind yeah. of sort of birds are you are presenting to the public? Uh, when we have a show, we basically arrange uh, a big show with different, uh, all, almost all kinds of birds. We, mm. There we have a finch, a section for finch, we have a section for parakeets, we have a section mm. for parrots, and we also have a section for large parrots, you know, macaw, cockatoos, and mm. others. Uh, so also uh, we have a, it's a quite big show. Okay, wonderful. Also nicht nur wellensittiche. Yeah. Nicht nur wellensittiche, sondern wirklich großsittiche und, und andere Sorten. Yeah. Thank you very much, to know that. So, Thank you. And, and you know, we, agriculture we take, is very popular in Bangladesh. Yeah, yeah. Good to know. We will take our time for the different questions. When there are questions, we will answer it later. And okay. I hope everybody sure. is still fine. And keeping coming, uh, coming good through the next month around this global pandemic, learning together, yeah. sitting together. Yeah. Have a nice evening. Yes, it will be great. And stay healthy. Thank you. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. Too. Thank you, sir. Danke auch an dich. Danke. Danke. I'm a winken with that. Thank you. Thank Have you. a great time and stay home, stay safe. Okay. Stay home, stay safe. That's right. Yeah. Thank you. Oh. If I have, uh, keep me on the screen. <coughs> Uh, thank you, everyone, for joining our show as we live 21st uh, episode with Mr. Sekpet Predrich. You know, the good news is that he has accepted our invitation to be an international honorary member of Agricultural Society of Bangladesh. So this is a very good news. And this is for the first time uh, an international personality, international breeder, judge and agriculturist uh, who accepted Uh, who accept to be a member of a Bangladeshi society. Uh, so we are going to uh, finish our uh, episode 21 is be live uh, now. Thank you for joining us. And for the best wish, uh, I'm saying for the last time, for the best wish to Mr. Sekret Pedrich, uh, this mug will be a gift for our viewers. So, <coughs> so please keep commenting uh, and wishing him our international a uh, member, international honorary member, Mr. Sekret Pedrich. So thank you very much uh, for joining us. Uh, inshallah, in future, we will, we will bring uh, more international breeders and legends like uh, Tony Silva and Sekret Pedrich uh, in our ASB live show. Thank you very much. So goodbye for today. If I didn't, sir, please, you can uh, finish the live now.